Hello everyone, this is Pat F from The Small Wood Lodge. I'm going to be opening up another channel, a little bit more of the outdoors type stuff and maintenance type stuff. But let me clue you into something. My former boss who retired purchased something that he thought was power cord. This was not power cord, it was labeled as power cord in the bag. But let me show you. Well, first off, power cord, I doubt would ever be used in all these multi-colors. They might use camouflage, green, black, and desert tan. Not these colors. Second off, inside of power cord is seven strands. Not one rolled up fiber. So this is not power cord. However, this will give me the opportunity to show you how to maintain a cut piece of rope so it does not unravel and fray like this. First off, cut it, pull it tight, cut it back, so you have a nice, clean, cut end. Then you grab your fire. You can also use an iron for cutting this and sealing it one step. Light it on fire. Keep in mind, this is nylon, so this is going to burn. Wet your fingers. And seal it up. Okay. Now we have a nice, tight end. All right. Now, we're going to show you how to make a hank of rope. Take Take your string or your rope, plane out over the dog. <laughs> Lay a few inches out in your fingers. Bring it up and down. So it's over your thumb, under your pinky. Now figure eight, back and forth. So you have so much of it left out. Okay? Pull it tight, do a nice little thing, nice little bundle, and then you start wrapping it. Now, this little hank, or this little stretch of rope here, you find the one that pulls through, which is this one, tuck, your, tuck it in, Pull it down. Now secure that end. And you just simply take this end, wrap it around a few more times, and just tuck it around the outside. To untie it, you will simply go to this other, pull this end out, find the other end that you pulled in, pull it all the way through, and it will unravel. This is a small hang of cord. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about. This is not power cord, okay? This piece of cordage here, okay? If you notice, it's got a nice, tightly woven slip cover on it. But when you come to the inside of it, if I can do this, hold on a second. Let me get my camera person here. Come, here, come on over here, camera person. Okay, you see this end here? Watch. You slide that out, and then you have this material here. Okay? This is not cordage. This might have a use as a wick. Okay? For starting a fire. Okay? This is not cordage. Well, it's cordage, but this is not power cord. Power cord would have seven smaller cords wrapped in this sheath cord. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, people. So I just warned you about 
what is and what is not cordage. Well, it's all cordage, yes. Here's my camera person, Emily, for today being messy Tessie. <laughs> but this is, this to me is not power cord. Is it a cordage that you could use? Yes. Would I stake my life on this cordage in a non-traditional uh, camping setting? Well, camping, maybe. In a do or die, die situation, come on Emily, no. Then I'd have to say no. This, this stuff here, to me, is yes it's a useful cord do not get me wrong but i would not put it under severe loads i would not uh stake my life on it this is not power cord this is a cheap knockoff from some company that did not know what they were doing trying to sell it off as power cord be careful what you buy have a good day. Our little ones. The fine arts of tying knots and hitches and other types of things. That this is perfect for. Gives them bright colors to stare at too. Have a good day. I know I am not wooly. I am not any of these other outdoors experts. I am like everybody else. Learning with you. Keep it kind, have fun, enjoy. Later everyone.